Okay, so don't think too well. Yeah. Hi everyone, so guess what I'm doing? Oh, you need. Uh, yeah, it's a first full proper day. We haven't really got that much planned, in all honesty, for today. Uh, we're just going to kind of chill out, walk around Luxor, actually have a proper look around Luxor, because we've never done that before. Probably do the same for Excalibur, see what options there are to eat and drink, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, not, not massive things planned today. I think this is going to kind of be how this whole vlog series is going to turn out. Um, it's going to be a bit random. I've got no plans on how this vlog's going to go from day to day. Especially with Dad, because Dad, as you probably noticed, is pretty random. Bless him. Um, so, yeah. Um, talk about last night. Last night was good. We was knackered. Ellis Island, lovely as always. Should have really spent more time there. But we were even falling asleep um, in the Uber on the way there. Uh, we were surprised we didn't fall asleep in our own food. Do you know what I mean? Like face flat, um, flat on the uh, plate, mash everywhere. Uh, yeah, we were knackered, absolutely knackered. Um, but, yeah. So, looks off, the room. Um, the room's lovely. Bed's comfortable. Pillows. I don't know why I really like the American pillows. I don't know what makes them better than ours. I just find them really comfy. Um, I just thought it was like a four creeps thing. They're quite fat and plump. Nice. This is why you tune into my vlogs, isn't it? To see me iron and a pillow review. You know what I mean? Top quality content there. One thing I've got to say though, um, and I'm wearing this penny's top for a reason as well, is I've broken the aircon. No idea what I've done. I set it down to 65, we went to bed, I woke up at 1 o'clock in the morning and there's hot air spewing out to the air conditioning unit. No matter what I did, it's, it's not stopped. All night, hot air, hot air, hot air. I think at the moment this room is about 83 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in centigrade, but I know it's bloody warm. Um, I phoned downstairs, they're going to bring an engineer up to have a look to see what this bloody stupid Brit has done. And then hopefully fix it. So, for now, I'm going to do some ironing while I wait for the chops to turn up. And then, yeah, we're going to have a look around Luxor, Excalibur, a couple of other places. Um, yeah, I've got a clue what I'm doing. No change there. So I'll see you later. Hiya, oh yeah, so yeah, we're on the floor of the Luxor. Uh, we're going to play a few machines. Thanks to uh, my Vegas reward, I think I've got $50 free play plus $25 Konami free play and Jane and Dad have also got $25 free play as well and my Konami for them too as well. So we're uh, going to see if we can make any profit from that, if not, doesn't matter really does it. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and find some games that we want to play and uh, catch up with you very shortly. You alright Dad? Yeah I'm alright. Right, you're going to play your $25 Konami free play? Yep, I'll be in a week. Right, fingers crossed. You know what you're going to, what game are you going to play? The Money One again. Oh, Crazy Money Deluxe. Yeah. Alright okay. then, we'll try and find that and let's see if we can win anything. Okay then. Alright. Try a bit. Try a bit. Okay, so as Dad said, we're playing Crazy Money Deluxe. Um, what are you going to bet Dad? Hey. 60. 60, 60. Yeah, 60. Alright then, so $25 free play, let's see what you can get. Come on, Dad. Yeah. By the way, while me and Dad went to find this game, Jane played Crazy Rich Asians. She won nothing with her free play, sadly. Oh, that's a nice one. Will do. Mm. Right, let's see what this one does. Right. 
Bob. I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it. So, cash out. You've won three dollars and seventy-two cents. Right, so that didn't win much at all on Crazy Money Deluxe, but to be honest, we didn't realise that he still had six dollars left of free play. So he'll go and play that somewhere else afterwards. Uh, but for me, I'm going to use some of my free play on... You can't see that, can you, because of the light. So it's uh, more Huff and Puff. So I'm playing... Um, yeah, OK, it's Huff and more Puff. Lots of Huffs, lots of Puffs. So, uh, yeah. So this is from my mate George, who I work with at um, New Cross Hospital. I'm going to play it, even though I hate these pigs games, but just for you, mate, I'm going to use my free play, remember that, my free play, to play Huff and More Puff. So, fingers crossed I win, because if not, you owe me some cash. There you go, you can see it properly now, Huff and More Puff. So yeah, um, let's see how we go with the free play. Right, let's see how much free play I've actually got. $50. Yay! Okay, so I've got $50 free play. Um, I'll have to sort out the my Konami $25 later on. It looks like they've not combined them, but that doesn't really matter. So for you, George, uh, I'm going to bet $1.50 and let's see how we get on. Yay! Yay! There's actually like a free play, by the way. I haven't won anything yet. Yeah, it's going to get annoying really quick, though. First, yeah, I think it really annoying. At least that was a win. I'm a dollar fifty up. I would like to get the bonus. Otherwise, it confirms why I hate these games. But yeah, I would jack shit. Well, George, if you're happy, you've got your bonus. I'm happy because I've got the bonus. Come on, I need some bricks. I've got no bricks, have I? Oh, yay! More, more, more. No, I don't mind. Here we go. Whoa, uh, oh. Oh, 
The Mini's $10, I just won 20 I got way over excited then. I know. Who just thought I'd jump the gun without looking at the facts first? Thanks, George. So my $50 free play has ended up with over $50 in uh, real money, if you want to call it that. Kind show. Right, going to press the button. So I've got $17 free play left. Might as well carry on then. Till it all goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 75 cent one because I've got 50 cents left of credit. So here we go. And there we go. So $50 free play used up. I'd put 20 of my own in. So I'm up $58.35. Thanks, George. I'm keeping that. Hi, everybody. So we're at the Pyramid Cafe at the Luxor. Uh, just here for some breakfast. Uh, probably going to charge the room so I think that's the best way is how you get comps um, I should really research stuff like that but you know what I'm like I never do so for breakfast I'm going to have a breakfast burrito Jane's going to have a chocolate bubble waffle and Dad's having a pyramid uh, cafe breakfast hopefully it'll be nice never eaten here before but as you all know this is the first time we've stopped at the Luxor and it's our first time back on the strip for a very very long time anyway while we're waiting I have one criticism so what I've noticed already is there's a lot of places now where you log in online go on to the appropriate website for like the cafe or the restaurant or whatever and add yourself to a waiting list now that is a good idea, don't get me wrong, it's quite a clever way of doing it. However, not everybody is IT literate or that comfortable in using technology that way, or they might not even have a phone that has that capability and they might need an app, and it can get a little bit confusing and overwhelming for some people, and I don't really think that's been taken into consideration. Like for me, obviously, piece of cake, but even then, like they'll send a text message saying your table's ready but I can't actually reply to that saying confirm because every time I do maybe it's because I'm from the UK maybe it's because of my mobile phone provider um, it won't send the message so then I'm panicking thinking well they don't know if I'm accepting the table reservation so it's a good idea in practice so it probably will get better with time but it's just a little minor grumble of mine and you know, I like to grumble. Okay, so this is Dad's uh, Pyramid Calf breakfast. Two sausages, two eggs over easy, and some hash browns. Looking forward to it, Dad? Yes, don't forget the toast. Oh, yeah. And there's his toast. Can't get the toast. <laughs> right. And this is Jane's very chocolatey chocolate bubble waffle with a lot of strawberries and cream. That looks nice, actually. That's why I did it. And he's mine, the breakfast burrito. So it's got three scrambled eggs, some uh, potatoes in there, and it's got a salsa as well. And that also looks bloody busting. Right, feel free, yeah, after all that. Right, feel free to call me all the names under the sun, and you can criticise as much as you like. But what I'm about to do is get some maple syrup and pour it on my breakfast burrito. Yes, dirty pig, that's what I am. But I've already tried it, and it's bloody lovely. And that's how I roll. Or burrito, it's not a roll, it's a burrito. Right, where I'm standing, it's a little bit windy, so sorry if the sound's really bad, but we're just waiting for an Uber to take us to Palms. Because later on we're going to do the lobster buffet, but uh, we need to get there early because it's going to be really popular. I think we'll need to get uh, a player's card as well. I can't remember if we've got one from there already. Oh, yeah, we have. Jason's told me. 
But um, also as well, uh, one of my friends just asked me to get him a one dollar chip for uh, for palms for him. So I'm gonna hopefully get him one of those as well. So yeah, we'll catch up palms. Lobster buffet. We got right to the point where you can actually pay, and they closed the line because we're fully booked. So the only other option now is to wait till half three, and then we can actually go through again, or not do it at all. We're literally, literally there, literally there, and they close the line. So warning for you all, and a bit of advice: if you do want the only can eat lobster buffet. Get in really early, like well before 12, because uh, when they decide to close the line, they close the line, and there's no budget in whatsoever. So, lesson learned. So, yeah, we're still waiting, not really too worried about it, it is what it is. But, yeah, later on, hopefully, I can give you some information, some advice on how to best approach this very, very popular buffet. Okay, so um, we're at the Palms, all you can eat buffet. So after everything that's gone on, which really isn't that much, I've just built it up a bit too much. Um, doors open at two o'clock. It's twenty past two. We're in. So um, yeah, there is still a lot to learn about this place, but ultimately we we've we've, been, we've done really well. So let's just hope the lobster holds up to its uh, reputation. And uh, yeah, we're going to go and get us a bucket load of uh, lobster. Right, so this is what everyone's come for. So, pinchy number one, pinchy number two, a buttery pinchy number three, and a very dead pinchy number four. Uh, yeah, it's a good job we like lobster, isn't it? Okay, so here I am at the lobster buffet. Uh, irony is, I'm not actually a massive lobster fan, but Jane is, and so is Dad. I get really squeamish with lobster. Really squeamish. Really, really squeamish. So yeah, this is the lobster tail. He's already been taken out the uh, lobster shell. I'm struggling already. I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, can I have a free water right now? Yeah, thanks. So, tastes really nice. I have an issue with the texture, but that's me being a complete wuss. Because it's a normal texture for a lobster. And it is nice. So I'll show you the lobster again in case you've never seen a lobster before. So yeah, a little dance before I eat him. Well, rip me in half and then eat him. Although, to be honest, Jane will between half, not me, because once again, I'm a bit of a wuss, and I don't like doing it.
Okay, so officially the Palm All You Can Eat Buffet is the best buffet in the world ever. And you know why? Not because of lobster. The Dolwyn. I love my Dolwyn. Joking aside though, the food is actually really, really nice. Um, yeah, it might have been expensive at $64.99 plus tax. But um, you definitely get a value for money here, you really, really do. Right. I'm going to try something that ever since I've heard of it about six months ago, I've always wanted to try it. It's called Ube. It's Ube ice cream. I ain't got a clue what Ube is. I know it's purple. I like the colour purple. But I don't know what it tastes like. Ube ice cream. Ube. Never heard of it before. I thought an Ube is what you call to get from one place to another. So yeah, uh, there it is. It doesn't look very appetizing, but whatever. That's one weird flavour. Kind of savouring. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, Tea. Yeah, a bit nutty like a walnut, but also very savoury. There's no sweetness in this one, forever. I don't know if I like it. I don't think I like it. You know I'm going to eat it all. Is this taste not beautiful? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, you know what? Dad can try it. I'm going to try it. Yep. Right. Weird taste. Is it weird? Yeah. Do you like it? No. No, me neither. So, thumbs down from Dad. No, it's thumbs down from me. Um, I've tried it. I won't be trying it again. I'm going to eat it all because I don't like wasting food. Wasting food is rude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Blue Slash, James has pointed out that where it said Ube, it said Yam. So guess what? An Ube is a type of Yam. Thanks, Jane. Next time I'll read. Yam, yam. Yam, yam. I think I should like it. Ah. Yam. Yam, yam. Yam, yam, yam. <laughs> Right, so after eating a lot of lobster, um, it only makes sense to play Lucky Lobster Mania. Uh, Dad's going to have a go on this and see what, well, see what he can do, actually. See if you can actually win anything for once. Okay. Go on then, see you all soon. Okay. And we're back. I don't know, I think if I press it again you'll get a wild. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. There you go, you want three dollars. Three dollars. I think it's it again. Ooh, if you got the same that's alright. That's a shame. Anyway. Okay. When are you gonna start? Stop now, that. That's fair enough, cash out then. 
motorbike, we're going to go for a walk uh, from Palms to Rio. It's bloody raining, it's dark, it's cloudy, and it's bloody raining. I might as well be in the UK. I'm only joking, I'd rather be here. And uh, I think it's going to brighten up for the weekend. Uh, yeah, the buffet. It was nice. It was really nice. Uh, if you like your lobster, it's definitely a buffet that you want to go to. If you're like me and you're a bit of a wuss when it comes to stuff like that, it might not really be your thing. Uh, don't get me wrong, the lobster tasted lovely. It really did. I just can't get my head around the texture of the lobster tail. Uh, kind of turns my stomach a little bit. Uh, that's just me. I don't mind the claws. Claws are fine. I can eat the claws. I can eat spider leg, spider crab legs, not spider legs. But, but yeah, the lobster itself, I just... I can't. And um, what didn't help either is James breaking the lobster up for me. You can see that weird green liver thing. And then one of them actually quite happily pointed out to me was a female lobster and it did have eggs. So there's eggs everywhere. So straight away I'm like, because, mm, ah. Do you know what I mean? It's just nasty. Kind of reminds me, story time. Uh, a long time ago, Jane, well, Jane and I, we bought some uh, chicken, corn-fed chicken. Thought, yeah, this would be nice, do you know what I mean? Free range, chicken, good life, good chicken, eating corn. As she's preparing it, the bit where the bum is, lovely piece of sweet corn. Parsons nose, they call it, right by the Parsons nose, some bloody sweet corn. Straight away put me off. Put me off sweet corn, put me off chicken for a bit, because who wants to see chicken ass with sweet corn sticking out of it? Nasty. And that's kind of what just happened with me and the lobster tail. Uh, seeing those eggs kind of made me feel a bit. So, uh, yeah, this is me being a wussy la la. But don't get me wrong, the lobster itself did taste really nice. It is good value for money. You have got to eat quite a few lobsters to get your money's worth, but that's easily done. Really, really is. So, uh, yeah, that's my quick review and little story about me not liking corn fed chicken. Off to Rio now, catch you in a bit. Yeah, so we're at Gold Coast, but we're not going to go in today. And there's Rio. Guys, it's a miserable looking day today. The locals just told us, uh, yeah, it's normally 85 there this time of year. Thanks mate. Not 85, it's definitely not 85. <sighs> Do feel sorry for Dad though. He was expecting really hot weather and it's not. And in typical British style, I'm just talking about the weather. Apparently the Rio has got quite all land. Um, and I've heard rumours that that land might be bought for a Major League Baseball team or something like that. I have no idea if I'm right or not, it's just something that I've read. So don't take it as... Um, yeah, don't take it as factually correct or anything. I have no sources apart from the internet. And as we all know, you can't believe everything you hear on the internet. Never realised what a nice lovely big pair of maracas I've got there in the rear. Can't go wrong with a nice big pair of maracas. Yeah, I'm sure in October we did the exact same shot. Oh well. <laughs> Yay! Right, Dad? He wants a hundred picks. That's not bad.
go, Dad. By the way, we're at Rio. Dad's playing crazy windy look. I was playing the bed on my phone when Dad got the bonus. Not bad for 60 cent there. Yay! You doubled your money, Dad. Well done. Click, click, click. What you stand if you all the oil? No, I'm not. It doesn't matter. You know, actually, it's sad. It's funny. Can you see my face? Probably yeah. best that you can't. There we go. Hello. We're at the Rio, uh, Dad's just some, well, Dad's doubled his money on um, Crazy Money Deluxe. So he went from $10 to $20, but a win's a win. We're going to go to, I forgot the flipping name of it, Golden Tiki, I can't believe I forgot that name. We're going to the Golden Tiki Bar, uh, just made a reservation, 6 o'clock. Really looking forward to it, because I really like their Dolby uh, cocktail. It's, it's busting, it really, really is. Uh, but for now, just going to walk around Rio, play a few games. And uh, yeah, make our way to the golden ticket. I say this time and time again whenever I come to Rio. You've really got to do Chris Gold. He's absolutely brilliant. A lot of fun, brilliant music, and it is better than the uh, Twilight Zone one as well. I think that's Flamingo. I think it's definitely true. This one's far better. Um, so yeah, definitely if you do come to Rio, give it a go. Probably the only, you know, distant Penn and Teller is probably the only reason why I'm here to go to the Rio now. It's a bit of a shame because I do, I do like this place. Yeah, it's not the screw. But, uh, it's alright. It's alright. Before we go to Rio, for some weird reason, Rio, we are in Rio, fail. Never changes, does it? Before we go to the girls in Tiki, for some weird, stupid reason, I'm going to play. Foon and Foonu. Let's see if I can foo win. There's no sound either. It's all about the timing. Right, so the volume's up, so that means I'm now going to win. One more than my bet, so I told you. Hey! Woohoo! Yep, told you. I'm gonna go middle. Yeah, I'm gonna go middle. Could you press your chain? Thanks, I'm idiot. Big one. So as a self-proclaimed slot machine expert, 
I can now tell you, putting the volume up means you're definitely going to win. Honest. <laughs> that was alright, wasn't it? Yeah. What's it going to do now? Do I press anything? So we're $14 up. I'm going to go down to 30 because then I'm $10 up because I can do math. And there we go. Ten dollars up. That's a win. So he's changed Blue Lagoon minus the shark. Here is my spiked doll whip, that is spiked with pineapple vodka. And here is Dad's dark rum scorpion drink. Just turned mine and dad's drinks around and we've got some two lovely orchids in there. How nice is that? I don't think they're edible though. Our next lot of fur uh, drinks are three blue lagoons. Blue lagoon, blue lagoon, three blue lagoons. Walking around the golden tea came with a spoon this. Classic. Here we are at the Golden Tiki. Um, it's really dark here as well, you know, because I've been here a few times. I'm trying to make it look really pretty with my camera. There we go, right. So here we are at the Golden Tiki. Um, I'm using my phone for torch to make it look really beautiful in the really, really dark room. Um, we're actually sat right at the back um, in the room that we've not been in before. It's really nice. I really like it. Found this in the Golden Tiki. Oh. Is there anything in here? I like ball. Found another one. That looks a bit rude. Yeah, it definitely looks a bit rude. I was showing that, it's rude. Okay, this is the last portal that I've found. Here we go. Oh, fab. So we're at the Luxor, we just got back from the Golden Tiki. Go have a blast on Cash Express Luxury Line and see how we get on with that. Funny story, you want that luxury line choo choo train? I choo 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 choo. Remember, loud music means you win. Ooh, you booker! Oh! You need a train, so you have all that money, which means nothing unless you get a train with it. That could have been nice. I 
think uh, one more. Oh, you booger. I have no words apart from damn it. So again, I walked away and does go bonus. Oh my gosh, you moved the mini. You might, the mini we can get is a minor. Carry on picking. Yeah, you can get the minor, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you get the minor, yeah. Ooh. Nice. You got the major, $43. Sorry about the camera, keep going in out of focus. So yet again, I'm going to find Dad and he's going to get himself a bonus. So we're playing Prosperity Link, he's got 10 free spins. Let's see how he gets on with this. What's that mean? Oh, just see. Oh, oh my god. Bonus in the bonus. No oh, best uh, stand back. Oop. Go, bonus in the bonus. Got right. a few more spins. It's all right, you need that. He got and got the bloody bonus again. We only playing down to 18. He got the bonus again. Looking at Roy. So, your $20 is now... $9.50. 
95 dollars lovely lovely job <laughs> oh good job James got a bonus on Moolah, I don't know where I'm looking. Uh, I don't know what that means. Giant symbols! 43 points. Money, more or less. I've played some other sim before, but then again, we've never played a move like this big effort. Yeah. Nice one. I should go shopping more often. Oh yeah. So yeah, just wanted to tell you about the um, Palms All You Can Eat Lobster Buffet. So now that I'm back in the room and I'm not back in England and this isn't a green screen behind me, honest, and my hair hasn't miraculously been cut and I've had a shave, I am in Vegas. Um, yeah, it took so many takes. I, I just thought, you know what, I'll do it when I'm back home. So yeah, the only can eat lobster buffet. Get there early. To put it as simply as that, get there really early. Um, I think people were queuing up um from nine o'clock so the people that have been queuing there from nine o'clock and in our case from 12 o'clock that was us um they're actually all in queue for uh, the pre-booking so basically this line is for people that are going to be paying for a table but we still won't be seated till two o'clock because buffet doesn't open till two but from 12 o'clock onwards we're all going through this line all paying for a table so then at two o'clock we'll all queue up again and be let in given a table. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. So we go through the queue, um, 12 o'clock, walkie, walkie, walk, 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 wait, 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 one o'clock. We're just ready to actually um, say table for three and they shut the line. So basically within that hour, um, all the tables were completely fully booked. So we had two options. We could either wait, because um, apparently they do the, the system all over again at half four. We didn't really understand that bit, because apparently they then do another 4.30 pre-booking line ready for the evening session. Or you could walk away. What we did is we just waited, because we English, British, well, we just waited. Because Jane quite intelligently worked out this. So... Um, two o'clock, they're going to open the buffet. There's going to be a line of people. They're all the ones that were um, queuing at 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock uh, for the pre booked They've paid. They're fine. They've got a table. All these people are going to be seated. 
Then there's a limit to the term time limit on the tables, hour and a half. So Jane worked out that from, well, two till half three. At half three, someone's going to get up and leave. Hopefully three people. So then, worst case scenario, we're going to get a table at half three. Best case scenario is someone doesn't want to stay there that long, hour, half an hour, whatever. Or even better, they don't turn up. Because we found out the, the line for um, actually getting into the buffet um, wasn't as long as we expected. So once that line was complete, any empty tables, they then turned to us and let us come through. So we only actually waited another 20 minutes. So the line was obviously closed at 1. We waited an hour till 2. Then it was just another 20 minutes for us to get a table. I know that sounds really convoluted, but to cut a very, very, very long story short, get there early and if you don't mind waiting, wait, but be prepared that it's going to take up a lot of your day, so you must really, really, really want some lobster to do this. Or you could queue it really early, like 9 o'clock. I hope that's made sense, because bloody neck it was hard going doing that. 